No wonder creepy legends have sprung up about Zor Valley, because it's a truly dangerous place to visit. The best way to get there is to take the Springville, New York exit off Route 219, and then go west on Route 39 for less than a mile. Zor Valley Road turns off to the left and parallels 219 for quite a distance. One can also access the road in Collins Center by turning left opposite Route 75. Whichever way one chooses, descending into Zor Valley is like riding down the back of a writhing snake. The road essentially drops off the ridge and plunges straight down a mountainside at an 80 degree angle. It's curvy and narrow too and has deep dips that would send a vehicle airborne if it's going faster than 20 miles an hour. Blind and hairpin turns make one's descent even more challenging. One should use extreme caution if driving there at night. When roads are icy, it's best not to go at all. Once to the bottom of the mountain, the road continues to wind, weave, dip, and rise along the difficult terrain that borders Cataraugus Creek. The stream is as wide and deep as many rivers as it courses through Zor Valley. It rolls along, swift and deadly, just waiting to drag a fisherman under. The gurgles of the current sometimes resemble those of drowning men. Since 2004, six people have died there due to mishaps and misadventures. Even on the straight stretches of the roadway, one gets an unsettling feeling as deer disappear like goats. The cause of crows seem particularly ominous from birds that never reveal themselves. Hillsides rise like goosebumps and cast long shadows. They're covered with trees whose skeletal limbs clack and groan in the wind. Zor Valley was haunted way before Europeans ventured into western New York. Its first inhabitants were Algonquins who lived there during the Stone Age, three and a half thousand years ago. One of their burial mounds was discovered in the mid-1800s near Gowanda that contained spearheads, stone tools, and 13 nine-foot skeletons. The Seneca tribe moved in next and found the region filled with mystery. Many of their witch, wizard, and sorcery tales are set in Zor Valley. They also say the valley hums at night as if breathing out an undefined energy. The Seneca dart dance originated here as well. The rite is performed by the Medicine Society in almost total darkness to honor the little people who first taught it to them. In 2003, some hikers were unsure of their location and began following another group to ask directions. No matter how fast they walked, however, they couldn't catch up to those they pursued. Just as they became totally lost, the other hikers vanished. Luckily, a search party had been sent out to find them after they were missing for nearly a day. They told their rescuers that familiar landmarks and trails had looked somehow changed, causing them to lose their bearings. When their compasses didn't work either, they began to wonder if the little people weren't responsible for their dilemma. Zor Valley is from Ghosts Revisited 6 by William P. Roberts. To order your copy, follow this link.